What's up everybody? It's been a little bit of a break since the last build video because I had to move out so I've been living in the van and taking it on a few little test runs, little uh, drives and kind of multiple day van life stays out uh, up in Ocala. I did some tri a trip up there and then I did a trip out to the Big Cypress Swamp kind of camping out in the van and having all my gear and so I just you know been testing out the life and it actually has helped because you know if I just built a van you know from start to finish without kind of using it I would do things that kind of I didn't realize would be annoying in the whole living in the van aspect of things. So what we're looking at is we're going to be building upper cabinets over the kitchen space here probably going just before maybe a couple inches before where the lights are and we're gonna stop at where the bed is because I realized that if I just build cabinets all the way down to the bed yeah I can make them a little bit smaller and and you know not as big as the ones that are down over here but still like you know you wake up you sit up I don't want to like risk hitting my head every day the first thing I'm gonna do and the only thing I really have time to do today is get the templates which from what I hear the templates themselves just getting them correct are a little bit of trial and error because you measure things out you cut things you adjust and you need to get them exact for every specific area you can't do one template for the whole thing especially for this part where the wood is on the back so I'm just gonna be working on templates today and just really baby step this and then we're gonna be get the wood and getting everything done and doing all the hardcore car carpentry stuff It is another day here at the workshop. I have the frame all built and the glue has cured from last time. I just stopped by Home Depot, got another three quarter birch plywood, which I'm gonna need for the doors or the door for this one and for the other ones. Also got some quarter inch, they didn't have birch, so I got the sand ply, which I'm gonna wrap this. And that's what I'm gonna be doing next, measuring it out, wrapping it, nailing it, and so on and so forth. So let's get to work. with the hinge situation because I don't fully understand how they work, the measurements, the pieces of wood, some things are a little too short, uh, just kind of figuring out that whole thing. So I'm sort of running out of time, so I'm going to leave that for tomorrow. But hopefully tomorrow I should have the hinges on there and at least have the cabinet assembly built. I'm pretty sure I'm going to just chuck it into or, you know, mount it into the van and just get that out of the way. while I put the screw, drill the holes and put the, the screws in here. It is pretty secure. There was one on the left side that I wasn't able to get in because there was no wood behind it. But I got a couple screws on the top, a couple on the side. I got a bunch down on the uh, slanted portion there. And then just for safety, I put a little bracket under here just because I was a little paranoid. This is the biggest cabinet. Of course, I'm gonna put the uh, struts that hold this open on here first.
here at the job site doing some van work and when you're doing van work it's very important to have the proper help because you can't do everything yourself so who could I find to do this work for me who do we have here hey what's up I'm out here helping Chris out so I owe it to him I gotta paint his cabinet okay enough stroking my ego <laughs> some technical difficulties I'm not sure when was the last time I actually did an update on the vlog but uh, we went to the mechanic shop installed the bumper as you can see it's looking super badass got the fog lights on the way that I'm gonna be installing on the bumper which the bumper is kind of like just for pushing it's obviously not gonna stop much except maybe a small family of deer um, I did an oil change some maintenance stuff the front brakes and now we are back here at the shop we have third cabinet right there the frame is done we're putting a second coat on the second cabinet up there. And who is here to do that but the one and only Megan Margo. How are we doing, Megan? Great, how are you? Great. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm pretty tired. back here at the shop just came from Home Depot I purchased a large 4x8 3 quarter inch birch plywood and a half inch which I intend to use partially the 3 quarter inch is gonna be for the drawers the half inch is gonna be for the fronts of the drawers and for this little door here under the sink which I have just haven't gotten around to putting in place back here at the uh, van build location aka Amir's house we got Megan over here she is putting some uh, primer on the cabinet uh, her cabinet back there over the bed I'm gonna get started I'm probably gonna install these drawers first uh, before building the second one just in case I learn anything in the installation that I can do to improve the second set better So last 
last time I was here, we got the two drawers done, slide in there perfectly. Gonna get the other two drawers done. I'm gonna be also adding some racks and do a little more organizational things because we're gonna be uh, two people moving into the van in a few days. of intense sanding, refitting, trying it, sanding, trying it. Later, I finally have the two drawers installed, opening smoothly. It was partially a size issue of the, uh, the drawers being a little too wide and partially because they were just misaligned and it's everything's kind of janky up here so it's kind of hard to tell where exactly they were supposed to be, but I got them nicely going in out here. Um, so drawer situation is all done. It's kind of late so I'm gonna pack up and get out of here. Uh, it's New Year's Eve, so got a gig tonight.